Um, currently I'm waiting for the first video to um, finish rendering. Um, typically, you know, like in the past I've like viewed like, you know, my first upload. I become basically unsatisfied with the results. And um, rather than delete it, I'd rather just, you know, opt to comment on maybe things that I might have left out in the first video. But um, yeah, it's currently rendering, so I can't even see it um, right now. So, like, while I was waiting for that, um, I don't know. I just had an idea in my head just to make another video. Um, more or less just to kill time before, you know, that link to the last video I made is up and viewable. So, right now I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, I guess, I mean, I'm looking at the screen and I see, like, the first video is kind of back here. And I guess with this, I was trying to adjust the lighting and I don't know, you could probably, my face looks, you know, according to the light, like aesthetically, it looks better, um, as opposed to when I'm leaning back in my chair. But, um, yeah, that's one thing I can adjust. Um, yeah, um, one thing I will say is that last video, like I was aiming to like, I don't know, I make something that was at least like over two minutes long. And as it was approaching the 10 minute mark, um, and I was talking about Spanish and then I was like, okay, like we got five seconds left. I just normally do like one of these. And then I was like, okay, cause I didn't want it to like cut off. Um, I remember I did a gig for a doctor and he had like a DVD that he wanted me to upload um to YouTube. So basically, I don't know, I just took a DVD, I uh, Google what software I can use to um you know capture like, you know, take all the files from the DVD, make it to like a um a video format that could be converted to YouTube. And uh yeah. Um I wish I would have lucked out on more gigs. Uh what happened to that particular um doctor was uh he sent me some emails every now and again to like update his website but basically how I fucked that up was like his wife um she went to a website of her own and basically not only I see some shit on my keyboard I wanna get out I'll do it after the video um like she went to a website of her own and basically I spent some time with it and long story short, like the bitch fired me without even paying me for the work I, like, you know, put into it. Uh, I know I, I had a friend who asked me, oh, how long ago was it? And, um, uh, it was less than a year. I mean, I know I could have, like, collected some money, you know, probably would have opted to set it out of court. I mean, uh, talking to my uncle, um, like, these, you know, the people who charge, like, 300 dollars an hour for their time or like the same people who would like you know fuck you over um my thought just popped in my head that you know this is I don't know I consider this to be bullshit but what inspired me going back to the first video I made was like there was this dude like Marlon Christian I subscribed to him and I hmm as a matter of fact, it's been quite some time since I went on Omegle, Chat Roulette, or any of those type websites. But anyway, one night I was on Omegle, and basically, you know, I ran into this dude, and we were talking for a good, like, I don't know, couple of minutes, and he was like, "Oh, surprise! You're on my, uh, my YouTube show, whatever he wants to call it." He basically takes a camera, and he like basically like records like his screen and like the user because like with Amigo there's like you know two screens your screen and the person you're talking to and he uses like I guess his cell phone or 
you know, whatever. It's like it has access to YouTube. You can upload videos from it. And, you know, that's basically what he does with his time. And, you know, I figure if that's what he does with his time, then, I mean, doing something like this in my time, I mean, naturally, in the, in the first few videos, like, like, for example, like, I remember watching, like, I'll take, for example, King of the Hill. Um, not that it's my favorite show by any means, but I remember watching it one night, and I guess, you know, it was, uh, I stumbled upon, like, you know, the first episode I ever aired, and, like, you can tell, like, this is, like, episode number one, it was, like, a lot more sketchy than, like, you know, you know, shows that aired, like, toward the end of, uh, that show's run, and, um, yeah, I'm not, like, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take a look back at some of these first few videos and say, like, yeah, that was shit. But, um, I mean, also I commented, I commented upon, um, another person I went to school with. Um, he currently has a podcast, Guys from Queens. Um, like he goes by Andrew Zarian, even though his last name is a little longer. Uh, I think it's Greek. But, um, I don't know. I remember first coming on Facebook and seeing, you know, references to his podcast, GFQ. And then now, like, the last thing I saw on Facebook, he was getting awards from Queens College for, like, you know, like, small business person of the year in the tech sector. And, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the next, like, you know, five to ten years, uh, uh, he's definitely going to, you know, go from point A to point B. As far as like, you know, where he envisioned that particular podcast, video cast, um, where it was going to take him. And, um, I remember quite some time ago, around the time I was expressing interest. In fact, another thing I touched upon in my first video was, um, uh, becoming somewhat of a professional blogger. Um, I know anybody can blog, you know, do bullshit, uh, videos like this, but, um, basically getting paid for it, uh, I guess that's the challenge. Uh, speaking of challenge, uh, surprised I didn't touch upon this in the first video. Uh, seen, um, since last night, um, you know, through most of the day, um, I have a pair of rollerblades. Uh, if I was still in the back room, I would show them to you. But, um, I have, I don't know if there's any rollerbladers so, who are watching this, but I have a pair of shadows and, you know, the typical setup is screen with black again. Um, like, it's like an aggressive skate and, you know, most skates have like, you know, inline skates have eight wheels, but with shadows, um, the way the frame is made, you only have like four wheels, so there's like two wheels per each skate. And um ironically I was doing some aggressive skating today. But um I use the skates more or less for travel, um, more than anything else nowadays. And it seems to make sense to like, you know uh, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time to like replace the uh frames with uh like the current frames with um another set of frames that would hold um wheels like the ones uh, I was on eBay earlier and I ordered well not ordered but um there was this guy who had these frames and he wanted about like eighty dollars our best offer so I made an offer for like fifty dollars. Um if he turns that down um I'll offer him sixty dollars. Uh, I'm not going to go higher than that because basically, I mean, there was this website, they were selling them for $60. Um, I don't know whether that included shipping or not, but unfortunately they're out of stock. So hopefully that deal comes through. Um, if so, I can look into, uh, you know, purchasing some wheels and some bearings along with it. And, um, yeah, you know, for like the start of the summer, it'll be, Three seconds left. <laughs> I'm at the 10 minute mark.
before I make another video. Peace.